Hey guys, it's your girl Blessing with Premise Media, and here's my latest review of Black Cake Season 1, Episode 6, called Ma. Before we even start, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, there will be spoilers in this latest review. This latest episode starts off with Byron's arrest. Eleanor recounts about how Byron, although not the one that made her a mother, he was the one that gave her the experience of actually becoming a mother of how she was sorry for raising Byron to bottle things up. Then she starts getting choked up when talking about Benny, of how Benny ran away in order to protect herself when she and her father failed to embrace her for who she was, and of how Benny reminds her of Bunny. When Charles, Mr. Mitch, sees her distressed, he starts to try to console her, and they bond over the loss of their respective spouses. Eleanor and Mr. Mitch hint at a romantic relationship between them after their spouse's passing. Eleanor reminisces back to when she was still back home in the island and how she basically forced Bunny to hide her true self and nature by giving her lessons on how to be with a man. In present time, Byron is arrested for aggravated assault against Steve. He is put in jail with other black male inmates. While in jail, Byron reminisces to when he was a teenager and got into a fight at school. His father's advice to him at the time was for him to walk away and not show any anger, no matter how justified, which he didn't agree with, of course. While his mother encouraged him to let out his feelings, but only at home where it is safe because of how the world views and treats black boys. Byron is let out of jail when Steve drops the charges. Benny files a temporary restraining order on Steve. Benny blocks Steve's phone number and she finds old receipts of her father's showing that he visited a cafe right across from where she lived but never had the courage to talk to her. A bruised and battered Steve shows up at the house to talk about the restraining order on him. Benny is not happy to see him and tells him it's over between them. Steve is unwilling to accept this and proceeds to tell Benny how she needs him and how he already received a $25,000 advance on the sculpture she destroyed. He asks her how she's going to pay the money back and she tells him that that's his problem and not hers and walks away from him after he tells her she's a parasite. Although things go well at the diversity panel, Byron finally stands up for himself. Mabel, their sister, makes an unexpected appearance at dinner. It's awkward at first when she shows up, especially for Benny, but eventually they find common ground. When Mabel is told how she was conceived, she doesn't take the news well and walks out. Benny goes after her to try to smooth things over. When back at her hotel, Mabel starts to question her whole existence. Benny shows up at her hotel to try to convince her to come back to the house with her, and she does, after bonding with each other. When they get back to the house and Mr. Mitch plays the tape, Eleanor confesses that she did not give Mabel away willingly, but was taken from her. And that's how the episode ends. I really liked this episode because Benny finally stood up to Steve and got him out of her life. And Byron finally stood up for himself during the diversity panel. That concludes my latest review. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment down below.